So today I wanted to show you guys what I have in my nail bag that um, I take places with me like if I'm going to go do somebody's nails or um, you know like if I'm going to stay the night somewhere or something and I want to bring some polish and like if I want to do redo my nails I'll take this little bag with me. Um, it's kind of messy right now but it has a lot of like stuff in it that I don't need to be in it. It does need to be cleaned out. But since I was about to clean it out anyways, I thought I would show you guys what I have in it. Um, it's a black patent leather bag that I got from Walmart. For I think mm, maybe 15 bucks. Um, and it's a Capoodles. I love Capoodles. When I seen that, I was like, oh, I have to get it. And plus, it's really cute. I like this material. And I stuck my little kitty furry ball on it that I got for Christmas. But, yeah. So, open it up. And this is what it looks like in the inside. You really can't see because it's super packed. But I have so much stuff in it. It's heavy. And then it has this at the, on the, um... The little lid part I'm turning around so I could show y'all like this stuff in here I do not need to have this in here but it has these you can see these little different separate holders for you know brushes I would say nail art brushes it's a really a makeup kit but of course I wanted it for a nail bag but I thought that was really cute and see-through so you can see what you have in it. Um, what I took out of it was some nail wraps that I have. Um, some nail tip guides. This was from Christmas that I never used. But it was some water slide decals that I got from AliExpress. So that's what I mean by I need to clean it out because... I got Christmas stuff up in here. Um, I've got some vinyls. These are from uh, VibrantVinyl.com. This is actually a multi-vinyl. Um, Let's see if I can get it. You got some chevrons zigzag waves and some straight tape and then a little bonus they sent um, a little leprechaun leprechaun um, stencils nail wraps that I have from little surprise nail and some leopard print um, gel film nail wraps these are really cool you don't need um, a gel lamp or anything for these they're, they just basically, once you put them on your nail, they melt and form to your nail. So that's really, really cool. And they work quick. Like, it doesn't take long at all. So like I say, it melts according to the base coat that you use on your nail. So those are really cool. I definitely um, look for these. Um, you can find them at, I think, perfectnail.com. Let's see if there's anything on here. Yeah, www.perfectnailus.com. Um, and they're made right here in my home state of Michigan. I'm from Michigan. If any of you guys are from Michigan out there, comment, say hi, let me know what city you're from. Um, then I also have these, our um, Aztec stackers. And gosh, I can't remember where I got these from, but they're, you know, vinyls, they're not hard to find. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, and I also have, I have that one in there. My Little Surprise Nail, which is like a tribal print or Aztec print um, nail wrap also. It kind of just you just put it up to your nail and stick it on there and then just I guess file away the rest I haven't used them yet so I may use these next um, I'm trying to see if their website is on here so I can tell you guys but I'm pretty sure you can google little surprise nail they're on Facebook little surprise nail so you can probably go on there and um, 
look and see what their website is if you're interested in ordering those. Alright, let's see what else I have in here. Rhinestone box. Now, I got this, actually, this little box I got from the Dollar Tree. I was so excited because they had them in different colors and they were just a buck, which was good because, like, if you go online, you'd find these for, you know, uh, more than a dollar, I'll say that. But, yeah, it was just a buck, so I picked up, um, like, three of them. And I'm going to take it out and show you guys what I have in it. rhinestones and mostly everything you see in here I either got off of eBay or um, AliExpress um, these bows actually were from AliExpress they sent me the wrong ones they were supposed to be all different colors different color bows and they came all the same and they were very poorly kind of made because you can't really tell, but the back of them looks like they just cut a piece of leopard print paper and stuck it on the back of there, so. But, I mean, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, because AliExpress stuff is really cheap, so I can't be mad. Um, I got these from AliExpress also. These were from eBay, 20 cents, because I bid. Um, I got some female slices in here that were already pre-sliced. slices they're cute perfect for the for the summer summer nails um, and I have these cute little neon round studs I got those off of um, eBay I have Mickey Mouse Let's see. I'm holding I'm holding and videotaping at the same time, which is giving you guys a lot of movement. Sorry about that. There's Mickey and Hello Kitty. Aren't those cute? And I got those both for under, like, maybe a dollar, no more than a dollar twenty-five on AliExpress. I think I got five Mickey heads and about eight hello kitties or something like that so that was a really good deal too because you can you'll find those other places online and they'll cost like tons of money i got stuff i haven't even opened yet some little pink studs i got some flowers which are my favorite i think this was like the first nail art charm thing that i ordered with these and i'm surprised i still have them left because i've had them a long time but they're really cute and i like to use them in the um, in the summertime most I also have these that I got from I can't remember I think AliExpress too some cute nail charms like I'm obsessed with nail charms I'm gonna give y'all a little look into my nail um, my drawers I have these little nail carts filled with stuff but I've got some um, more pink bows, some butterflies, some cute little sunglasses. All of these were from AliExpress and eBay. And then I have some little glitters that I got with um, some polish I ordered from a polish line called... Oh, what was the name of it? Gosh, they're on Instagram, but it came with... Um, these two little glitters and these you can mix into glitter acrylic if you want to or into your polish so I thought that was really nice it came with those two and then these little glitter capsules also that I haven't used yet as you can see because they're still closed but yeah, all those came with um, some polish I ordered. I had ordered like two polishes from this company. If it comes to me while I'm taping, 
I will let you guys know what the name of it is because they're pretty cool. They have great polishes. And I also have this in there that I got from another company. Um, she just sells nail arms. And I can't think of the name. Alright, so that's what I have into my bag. It's so messy, y'all. Like I said, I need to clean it out. I've got a buffer in here. Um, some Born Pretty glitters that I actually got from. One is from Horantu Store or Horanta Store. I don't know how you pronounce it. And one is from Nicole Diary on AliExpress. Um, I'll leave links below for Harantu store. I have a discount code discount code that you guys can use. Um, but these are the chrome powders. I have like a holo glitter silver one and then the other one is a really light um, like a purplish pink. It kind of looks white but it's actually a really light purple color. Got that. This is some of the stuff I took out so far. And ta-da! Look at all of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really need to clean this bag out. So, where should I begin? Um, like I said, like when I go places, I don't know like what polish people, you know, might want to choose, what colors they want. So I just kind of throw colors in here. But like I said, I haven't cleaned it out, so it's kind of like overflowed with colors I would not usually have this much um this little thing here it's like a little condiment thing I use to um like if I need to drip some polish onto something I'll drip it in here and you know use my if I want to make dots or something I'll drip it in there and get my dotting tool which I have right here I'll drip it in there I'll get my dotting tool and go like that you know and do my dots with it got a dotting tool in there that came this came with the LA colors polish set that I had um, I have also some of my favorite um, top coats that I like to use I threw those in there they're by scratch of Sweden if you guys have not heard of them please look them up if you're on Instagram or you can look them up at scratchofsweden.us. They're now open to US because before they were just international. Um, but they have a no dry nail, which helps with like brittle nails, um, peeling nails, it, you know, get your nails back in shape. Um, a multi top and base coat. This one, which is great. It keeps your nails, I mean, so glossy and it makes it look nice and glossy for a while. And then this one is the fast dry top coat and it actually works really fast like in my opinion it's up there with such a beat like that this dry top this fast dry top coat is good I definitely recommend trying that scratchy season dot us um, next so this polish I had when I since I said I took this my little bag with me my mom's and I did her nails in that for the first time that was my first time using gel polish I used Jolay's and that that's sure bright it's really pretty I have got some polishes that I actually swatched um, I did a swatch video of these these were my Leela polishes um, she launched today by the way y'all so please make sure you go visit leelapolish.com she just opened her store today leelapolish.com um oh and then i have this it's scratches sweden's nail food a super good cuticle oil it's really 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 good so definitely check out scratches sweden and check out Lila polish all right um i keep this in there this is one of my fave um latex nail barriers this is by from the hands of an angel um it's called called guardian angel liquid latex guard and it's the stuff that you put around your cuticles like if you're gonna you know do nail art water marble 
um, you know, smush manis. You just put it around your cuticle and peel it right off when you're done to keep your cuticles clean. Um, she has a lot of other good products too, so check her out from the hands of an angel. She's on Etsy shop. And I'll leave that below if I don't forget in the description. Um, so, y'all see all these polishes. I'm not going to go through everything. Because I have some stuff that I want to show y'all later. Um, oh, I'll show you guys this. This is one of my favorite. I'm going to show you guys the rest of my products from her in another video. But this is from Rebecca and Madison. Cuticle Butter Pumpkin Eggnog Scent. Excellent. Smells great. Works great. Love it. Um, so my little kit came with these little pockets too. I got two pockets here. And then I have smaller ones on the side that fits like smaller things in it. Y'all can see the shape. And then there's also some here. bigger ones here. Ooh, I got goodies in here too and I didn't even know. I got a nail art rule. That shows you how big it is. I got some more nail charms. But yeah, that's pretty much what, what's in my bag. is a bunch of nail polish, more cuticle oil. Um, I got one of those silicone nail art pins in here. Uh, I got this that I use for a cleanup brush. Uh, got another dotting tool. This is one of my favorite ones. It's by um, Salon Perfect. And I found this in a, a kit. Um, I want to say at Walmart also. It came with some other things in the kit. But this is what I use most of out of what was in it. It's this dotting tool because it's good. I like um, the big dotted end that it has. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's in here. I have some sinful, sinful shines. And these that I showed y'all in a, another video of my Sally Beauty supply haul. My uh, finger paints are in there. I got a couple of Kylie's in here. Kylie denim mat. Um, I have um, these are from Sound Beauty. Let me show you guys these. These are bitchy nail colors. These are some. I love to pick these up every time I go to Sally's. Like I want to grab at least one or two of these. They're so cute. They're like little minis. And it's a new company that um, they're carrying now. And it's called Bitsy. They're also on Instagram. I think at Bitsy Nail Color. Isn't this pretty? It's, this one's actually a curly. Like a hot pink with some blue glitters in it. And then this was a Christmas edition. This one's called Peppermint. And it's scented like peppermint too once it dries. This other one, in case y'all want to pick it up, this one's called Garden Gnome. And the other one is called Yes Please. So, let me see. Oh, of course I gotta have some polo glitters in there. <clears throat> I've got this, my Orly Mirror Ball. Can't go nowhere without this. This one is new. I just got from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, uh, champagne for breakfast. It's from the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. How pretty that is. So sparkly. And then I have Revlon Holo Pearls. These are all super, super, super good holo polishes to me mainstream polishes and yeah excuse my nails y'all I was um swatching I'm actually wearing um a polish from a new line called um treatyourself.usa.com it's an indie polish so definitely check them out 
Um, they're kind of messed up now because I've had them on a while. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And this is the glitter that I have on my pinky. Cosmic Clash. I treat yourself. Okay, so this um, is a rhinestone holder. And what you do is you put your rhinestones in here. And you know how your rhinestones all be like, um, you know, one is flipped right up, one is flipped upside down, and vice versa. And you want them all to go the same way. You, you shake this while it's in there, and they'll all flip up. So then you just get your um, your rhinestone pickup tool and you can pick them right up and put them right on your nail. So that's what I love about this thing. So, alright you guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. And this is what was in my messy bag. When I clean it up and put all the normal things that I put in it in there, I'll make another bit, another video of what's in my bag. Bye, guys. Remember to subscribe. Thank you.